My name is Beza Aksodunya. I work as an associate professor at a public university. My specific special areas include education measurement and psychometrics. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you purposes of assessment, types of assessment and facilitating assessment by using technology. Before moving to the technology part, let me introduce you functions of assessment. Mainly, there are three functions of assessment. Uh, they are formative, diagnostic and summative assessment. Diagnostic assessment is conducted at the beginning of a new topic or a new class or a new program to identify what learners already know. Uh, formative assessment is carry, carried out within a topic to understand current status of students and any learning gap, gaps if exist. Summative assessment is the assessment of learning uh, which is conducted after a period of instruction or a semester or a course. In this video, I plan to focus on formative assessment, which is assessment for learning. There are formal and informal ways for conducting formative assessment. Uh, among the informal ways, questioning sessions, question and answer sessions, um, giving quick feedback to students, conducting peer and self-assessment are the most common ways. An informal part, we conduct tests, we prepare and conduct exams, uh, ask students to write essays for conducting formative assessment. And by for doing them, there are some technological tools that we can utilize. Um, but before moving to the technology part, let me quickly revise the ways of formative assessment. Discussion forums, self and peer assessment, portfolios, quick quizzes are used to provide effective feedback as a part of formative assessment. To conduct these assessment approaches, we can utilize various technological tools and Web 2.0 tools. Among them, at Puzzle are completely free and can be used for quiz, discussion board activities, assigning homework for your students. And Google Classroom is another free outlet that you can use for quiz, for online exams, discussion boards, homeworks, and portfolio assessment. Another free outlet is Flipgrid that you can use for portfolio and discussion board activity. Among these outlets that you see on the screen, there are some outlets, some tools that you can use partially free, but in order to use them in their full functions, you need to subscribe. For example, Kahoot is free for first 50 participants, but if you have more than 50 students, you need to pay and subscribe for the pro plan. Or uh, for Socrative, it's free for the basic plan, but you need to pay and subscribe for the more complicated plans. And there are some other technological tools that you can use for, for online scoring. Among them, Google Forms can be used for scoring multiple choice quizzes or short answer quizzes. Paper Raider can be used for automated, automated scoring of writing essays. Or RubyStar can be used for creating effective rubrics for evaluating students' performances. Before finishing up the video, I would like to ask you two questions to wrap up the content. Which assessment type is used to identify learning gaps? Diagnostic, formative, summative, norm referenced, and criterion referenced. Formative assessment is used to identify learning gaps and understand students' current status within a semester, within a course. Another question, which digital tool presented below can be used for preparing portfolio at Puzzle, Kahoot, Socrative, Flipgrid, and Padlet? Among the tools presented here, Flipgrid can be used for creating portfolios within the classrooms. Thank you for listening to me. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks.